because we're the is same. Older no, the we're same the same age. age. We're both twenty five. Like Ever since I met like him, that's soul. yeah, that's how he's been. Yeah. Like we met at twenty, and I was like, we were both in college, yeah, and of course, all I the think guys totally different. <laughs> yeah, all the guys I'm meeting at twenty are, are not mature yeah. at all, yeah. or even like yeah. at twenty five and in that range. Yeah, and then, unique. yeah, uh-huh. he was just he always had it together. While she was in college, she met you, Chance. I remember you talking about him, and I have never seen you so happy. I think I just have to concede and admit Chance beat me at this one. At least for a consolation prize, I know I can beat Sage. I mean, as long as I can find a girl with a full head of hair, she's already got one up on Chance. Beautiful. I'm so proud of you. Love you. So happy for you. Thank you. A big baby girl. Daddy, this is the moment you have been preparing for me for my whole life. Now you let me go and start my own family. Be a wife and a mom. I promise I'm in good hands because Chance reminds me a lot of you. I love you so much. Forever your little girl, Sage. So beautiful. So proud of you, baby. I love you. Welcome everyone. We're gathered here in the presence of God to join these two in holy matrimony. We're here to celebrate the marriage of two best friends. More than a ceremony, this is a significant moment of celebration and personal commitment. The essence of this commitment is the taking of another person in their entirety as both a companion and as a friend. It is therefore a decision not entered into lightly, but with great consideration and with respect. From this day forward, you two will come closer than ever before. I've been away. Everyone, if you would, please stand. I've been waiting, but there's no fault. Can't turn and view your ride. Sage, I can't believe the day is finally here. I feel so lucky to be up here with you, and you look beautiful. I know our vows are meant to be promises to each other that we keep for life, such as loving in sickness and health, etc. But to me, those are so overplayed. And not only that, those should be expectations, not promises. I promise to love you for you. I promise not to pass judgment when you're on your fourth sweet treat of the day. 
I promise to always love you and your obsession of chickens, and hopefully I can make that dream of owning come true. I promise to always be respectful of your dreams, no matter how far-fetched they are. I promise to act like I didn't notice when you watch 10 episodes of Love Island in a day. Again, I promise to always love you for you, because you've always loved me for me. You've brought out the best in me and continue to push me to be the best that I can be every day. Chance, since the day I met you, I knew you were a rare kind of person, someone really special. Once the timing was right and we had our first date, that was it. From that day on, I knew this stubborn sweetheart of a boy was going to change my life. You have always loved me without reservations. You praised me in a way I never thought was possible and in a way for a long time I didn't think I deserved. You are a million dreams and a million prayers of a young sage come true. You are thoughtful, you are smart, and you are funny, and you can cook and bake. I cannot promise I will always be the perfect wife, but I do promise I will always choose you. I choose you today, tomorrow, and for forever to come. To not only be my husband, but my partner, my lover, and my best friend. Everything in me recognizes your heart as my home and your arms as my shelter. So here's to finding my forever home. I love you. May you have health, happiness, and a lifetime of rich adventure by the power vested in me, by the laws of the great state of Texas, and as a minister, I now pronounce that you are husband and wife. Chance, you may kiss your wife. Let's go. Pulling up, feeling like Harry Belafonte. Look at my racks, feel like Serena went from the back. Pull like Jim, waves on swim, and I rock tins with the tech. Butterfly doors on the Tesla, ice cream shit on that. Hey,